Hey, fragrance fiends, how y'all doing? Today is an exciting video because I have three niche fragrances that I'm about to give you my first impressions of and I can't wait to shave and make myself pretty for you guys. So stay tuned and we're getting right into it. So yes, I went crazy and I bought three niche fragrances given they were on the cheaper side except for one. But even that one, which is usually uber expensive, was on a super sale on Fragrance Buy and that's this one right here. La pièce de résistance. Jojov. Herba Pura. I also got Figuerum by Lancôme. Excited about this one. And Molinard Queer. So, which one should I unbox first? This one! Okay, the box is very simple, very plain. It's a purple box, as you can see, with Queer and then Molinard at the bottom here. You got mm, the Molinard symbol up here. You got some batch information right here. Um, ingredient information on the back over here. Hmm. It's pretty. Nice, pretty bottle. Look at that. Look at that. Metal. Yeah, and it's pretty heavy for a small thing like that. It has a very nice uh, texture to it, let's say. This bottle is beautiful. And the atomizer is right here. You have a black atomizer, as you can see. Oh, this is a nice spicy leather. Spicy, fruity leather. It's nice. It's smoky as well. It's supposed to be like a a lit cigarette in the background kind of leather um, spice. Let's try it on skin. It's sweetening it up already. You know, just that first glass is leather, uh, maybe some, some fruitiness, berries, whatever. Okay, on skin it smells almost the same as on the tester. On my skin it comes across a lot more leathery, I guess. Um, just first impressions, guys. I'm gonna have to wear this a lot more to tell you how it smells as it dries down and goes into the mid, but so far this is good. Quality smells amazing too. There's no harshness when you first throw it on. It's just leather from the jump, as the name suggests. Queer is leather in French. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Next one. Next one, we're gonna go with Lancôme. Figuerum. Oh, how have we pronounced that? It's a 30 milliliter bottle, but that doesn't take away anything from it. And over here, as you can see, is a, a nice little fig. Right there, you got some batch info behind here, ing ingredient information behind here, uh, batch over here, uh, on the sides nothing much doing, you got some info here, what does that say? Green figure core, jasmine, grand florum, absolute. Okay, let's see how the bottle looks. Pretty bottle, quite feminine, but it's a pretty bottle though, I mean, to be honest, it's not bad at looking at all. Look at that citrus fig. Uh, not bad at all. At the back you have this beautiful plaque with a floral um, type thing. I'm thinking this may be a little bit feminine, but let's see. Fig and florals. I thought it would have citrus because it says agum, which is citrus in French, but... Fig and citrus. Let's see how it smells on skin. Ooh, nice. Now I get the citrus. When you throw it on the skin, it just projects citrus. I like it. Nice fig citrus. Oh, this is like tangerine. Tangelo tangerine or mandarin, has a green figginess, very deep, the florals are much dumbed down on skin as compared to the tester, this is nice, really really nice, I would wear this. And last but not least, Herbapura by Jerjoff. I'm losing my Jerginity. <laughs> it has some damage from shipping as you can see here, which is sad because the boxes on these are beautiful. Oh, there's a seal over here, as you can see. Uh, there's some texturized X's all on the side here. There's the X for George Off on top here. You got George Off Herbapura right down there. Some ingredient and batch code information here. On the back, George Off again, made in Italy. Nothing else really. And this is a 50 milliliter bottle. Let's check it out. Sticker. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. 
Oh, this is velvety feeling. Oh, wow, nice. Nice, nice, nice premium stuff right here, my bro. Down here we have some batch info and stuff on a sticker. All right, matching my shirt, guys. Could you see that? Matching my shirt, matching my shirt, uh-huh. There's some leakage, by the way. This is wonderful. Look at this, the oil. There's oil leak in here, as you can see, see? It smells amazing. Let's try and skin. Ooh, ooh, this is very unisex, though. I thought it would be more masculine, but it's still delicious. Clean, musky, fruitiness, right from the jump. What is that fruit I'm trying to get? Mm, I don't know, but it's delicious. There is citrus in this, of course. That fruitiness, that sweet, almost candy-like fruitiness. Wonderful. Thank you for watching, I'm Hannibal, this is Magnificence. These are just first impressions. You guys will get a full review, especially of this one and the Lancome, I love those most. Queer, it's pretty good. I'm gonna review that one, it's pretty good. It's surprisingly, surprisingly good. It's not what I expected, but this one is amazing. Lancome is amazing, and peace.